I still can't believe I pulled up to my prom in my Corvette. Honestly. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. You know, I've really been struggling lately because I just think that most people aren't used to being friends with someone that's just so fabulous. And I think that that really makes people feel like they're not good enough to be around me. And it's just something that I've really been struggling with lately, guys. How badly did you want to stab me in the face while I <laughs> went on that spiel? Probably pretty bad. I wanted to stab myself in the face. Today on my channel, we're looking at some humble braggers that just can just go away. They can just leave. There's the door. And there's another one there. Take your pick. That one leads to a closet and that one leads to my kitchen. Oh God, it's just so annoying to have your phone go off all the time. Like people just don't understand that I'm so busy and it's just so frustrating. Like, do you not understand that I am like filming right now for like almost 250,000 people? <laughs> it's just so frustrating. Like it's so frustrating when people just like won't leave you alone because they just, I guess they just like care about me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop and we're just gonna look at some humble braggers right now. It's not just gonna be a whole video of me humble bragging sarcastically, but we could do that. <laughs> when I first got my driving license, my parents wanted to buy me Toyota. I said that it's okay, but right before buying it, I couldn't hold my emotions and started crying so loud that everyone in the car center was staring at me shocked. My mom took my hand and brought me to BMW and bought me my first car. I was so happy, flexing in front of my teenage friends, haha, -ha, and thought that I'm the coolest girl. Since then I changed a few cars, but BMW is forever my favorite. Cool story, haha. -ha. How neat, how neat is that? You are so like, you are so down to earth, girl. Dang, how can I be like you? If I cry, will my parents take me to buy a BMW too? Honey, you can buy yourself your own BMW, that's what's up. I have a confession. I never pack anything really valuable in my check bags, but I did this time. A $60,000 rare Birkin is in one of my bags. At KLM, give it back please, or we are gonna have a problem. Honestly. That was Jeffree Star, but Jeffree Star, everyone. Imagine just being that rich. <laughs> Ugh, I hate it when that happens. Can anyone else relate to just like having a gigantic wedding ring and it just like breaks your rubber gloves all the time? Like honestly, it's just so annoying. This is the third one today. This is the third time this has happened. <laughs> so funny. Life is funny, isn't it? So funny. That is a gigantic rock. <laughs> that is a lot of diamonds. Genuinely forgot how much I love this photo of my niece. Like how cute is she? Like I love, like, is, doesn't she look cute? First of all, I can't see your niece. I don't know what she looks like. I'm assuming she's very cute, but considering the photo you chose is of her back, I don't know how I'm supposed to tell. But you know what I can see is your abs. Was that, was that the point of that post? Just a wild guess. Just got ID'd at Smart and Final for booze and didn't have my wallet on me, so I pulled up my IMDB to prove my age. Cool, very cool. You're so cool. I'm just jealous because I don't have an IMDB. <laughs> but like, would that really work? I don't know if that would work. I've tried that before. I'm like, look at my YouTube. Look how many subscribers I have. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Growing up in a house where your mother is an English teacher and father is a doctor is never easy. It's just not. You have so much to live up to. On one hand, I could read Shakespeare effortlessly, even in class six. And on the other hand, I could administer medicines for minor ailments and fix the lamp. It was like my creative side and my science side were at a constant struggle. Both wanted to emerge as the winner, but somewhere in this battle of brain and heart, I lost myself. 
Did you? I never realized what I wanted and I still don't. Perhaps when I do understand it will be too late and I will be standing at a point of no return. Perhaps I would find my soul one day. Perhaps I would live instead of surviving one day. That day I will know for who I am. That way I will know, that day I will know me for who I am. Cool story. It's cool. It's cool, girl. It's a very roundabout way of saying that you had a very lovely childhood. <laughs> like, I don't feel bad for you. I'm sorry. I just don't. You're, you're, it sounds like you had a very pleasant upbringing, just judging by your post. My favorite part of the event. Hey, you have an interview in 10 minutes. Me, sorry, I'll be signing stuff and taking photos until I have met everyone. My public needs me. I feel like I need like a big scarf and like glasses, you know, just sunglasses, just. Will Twitter be available for me in Paris, Milan or the Maldives? I hope so because it won't in Hong Kong or Singapore. Mm. Mm. Is it bad that I'm not going anywhere and I'm wearing over $800 worth of clothes? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Well, you asked, kinda. <laughs> Since you asked, I'm just letting you know. I almost spilled coffee over $600 shoes. Not quite, but almost. But did you know, uh, did you know that I'm wearing $600 shoes today? Oh, oh, you didn't? Well, let me show you. I am wearing $600 shoes. That's how much they cost, 600, well, 630, but I'm so proud of my son, King Quran, for doing something that I couldn't do, and that's graduate high school. When I was his age, I dropped out of school and followed my dream of boxing to take my family out of poverty. You did. You certainly did. And look how that turned out. <laughs> hey, if Floyd Mayweather can do it, so can you. I feel like I've humble bragged like quite a bit. You know, I feel like you could go on my Instagram and be like, all right, this is a humble brag. That's a humble brag. I'm just trying to sound relatable. <laughs> Does anyone know how to clean an AirPod case as mine are looking kind of dirty? I do, as a matter of fact, and I concur. They do get dirty. You know what you do? You take some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and you clean it like that. That's fair though, like it, they do get dirty. <laughs> I also love, okay, I think the joke here is that he took a photo like not only with the AirPods case, but also a really fancy watch and also a Supreme bicycle. I think that's the joke here that Charlotte almost missed. How much do you think the Supreme bicycle cost? Probably a, a pretty penny. Kylie Jenner. My family teases me for being a billionaire. Kylie Jenner reveals her sister started to poke fun at her after she became a billionaire. Oh my. Oh my, silly billionaire. You rich <laughs> James Charles tweeted, OMG, you guys are so crazy on Instagram. You always crash the app whenever I go live. I'm dead. I'm just dead. Emoji, dead emoji, okay? I'm just hashtag dead. Imagine being that famous. <laughs> Dubai is so freaking expensive. Checking if I still can survive for a one week business trip and then just shows a $1 million receipt, almost 2 million. Is that? Oh my God, you literally, you showed your, your balance? Stop it. Available balance. Who does that? Who just shows how much money is in their bank account? That is just, oh my goodness. Stop, stop it right now. You can, you can leave. You can go away now. <laughs> Ugh, so expensive. But also look how much money is in my, you can afford it. Santa came and I'm too embarrassed to post our tree pic because it looks like we have six kids, but really just two. Sad face, sad. I just, I buy my children so many presents. Life is hard. <laughs> I used to get 100 plus likes on it, but I decided I didn't want creepy strangers looking at me, so I'll settle with the 30 to 40 likes. Right, yeah, totally. 
Watching my segment on Fox and cringing, listening to my voice on TV is so painful. Do I really sound like such a valley girl? Yes, you do, as a matter of fact. Sorry I'm late to the party, guys. I was busy cashing my 80 million video game check and I'm transferring 53 million into our joint account. Kim, this is why you got robbed. <laughs> this right here is why you got robbed. Sorry if I don't open your snaps for days. I have over 150 to open. So sorry. I'm just so busy. Just a very busy person, you know? Like, very, very busy. People are snapping me a lot. I'm trying to prioritize. If I haven't gotten to you yet, know that I love you. <laughs> it's so funny because I think we all do this. Like, we all do it. That's why it's so funny. Blue is my bestie, but she's mad at me right now because I've been spending a lot more time with my other car. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Cars can't get mad. They are inanimate objects. Me looking at the F my kid got for the math homework I solved. <laughs> I can't relate. Never got anything less than an A minus. Simply can't relate. It's tough being smart, you know? So tough. The agony of being too beautiful to stay faithful. One woman's very brave confession. <laughs> oh, it is so difficult being so beautiful. Pretty privilege really doesn't exist. It doesn't. More like pretty persecution. I don't know if anyone has looked at my Instagram and thought, wow, her life looks so perfect. Or she's so lucky to always be traveling. And I am, I'm so lucky. So lucky to love two countries, to speak two languages, to understand two cultures and to have two homes. And while it's so amazing, it comes with a price. Ugh. I always say it is a blessing and a curse because I'm constantly saying goodbye and wishing I could have everyone that I love on the same side of the world. I just thought I'd touch on the fact that while I get to travel, I also only see sisters and a mother twice a year and have to live with that pain just as often. With a lot of happiness comes a lot of heartbreak and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Not even you. Not even my worst enemy! So silly. Silly girl. Silly, silly. I understand your pain. I have had two people ask me for my number at McDonald's. And I'm sorry, but if you think a dude in McDonald's outfit is cute, get a freaking eye check. I, I, hey man, people like a man in uniform. <laughs> Even a McDonald's uniform. Yummy. Smells like french fries. Okay, someone help. What shoes should I wear? What matches my Gucci belt? I'm gonna need some help. What goes best with this Gucci belt? Asking for me and my friend. New car, haha, <laughs> it's whatever. It's whatever, whatever, it's fine. It's just, you know, my Bentley of the month. <laughs> when I thought I lost my real heart for good, my mom replaced it with a beautiful gold Gucci one. Lol, lol, lel, <laughs> lel, you plebes know nothing. Am I a plebe? I feel like I am. I'm also a humble bragger. I know humble bragging when I see it because I am a humble bragger. I might be a 260 pound, extra, extra large wearing, broad shouldered, heavily tattooed, multi-millionaire of a man with six houses, just as many luxury cars and 75 million in cash in the bank. But I love me some pink berry probiotic Greek ice cream as a midday snack. <laughs> I have nothing to say to that. I have nothing, I have nothing left to say. All right, guys, those are some humble braggers that just, they gotta go away. You just, you just, just stop talking. Stop talking. Shh. It's enough. It's enough, sweetheart.